Now we have the really new patriotic party coming up uh, with the individuals who will be on the ballot sheet for the super delegates conference. That will be, um, when is it, 26th? 26th of August. Yeah. August, 26th of August. Yeah. We have on top, um, Gaijis Bayman, Kennedy Japan. Mm -hmm. And then um, mm -hmm. our good friend, Kojopoku. Kojopoku, great man, great man. He's also there. Uh, he's on, uh, on number, at number four. Yeah. So you see number four on the ballot sheet, MPP dele uh, super delegates. And then the next one, we have the vice president. Number 10. The head of government economic management team, occupying number 10. So it is a Shroho and a Siho. And then we have Alan Chairman Ting second, Pabne J. Japon, who has gotten great reviews during this campaign period, is also there. Shamima, who are you voting for? You are, are you? Shamima, you've changed my um, name. Sorry, now. sorry, Abibata. <laughs> uh, you should vote for yourself. Yeah, so. Um, you're, you're a voter? No, I'm okay. not. Okay. You're not a delegate. I'm not a delegate, yeah. Okay. So um, what I want to say is that all this thing presidential aspirants uh -huh. will beat the NDC any day. They are all qualified. So as we are preparing for our this internal ten. election, all the, of the any of any them of who them emerges the winner. Can be the NDC. Until, NDC. Yes, by November. Please put the individuals that she's talking about on the all okay. ten of them, any of those can beat the They'll NDC. They'll beat Jomahama and when any we day. say any day. Okay. And when we say we are breaking the eight, we mean we are breaking the eight because we are breaking the eight on record of achievements that this government has done. We are not just making noise, we are talking with issues. And when we talk about achievements, this government has done so much so that we cannot afford to throw any gains away. So as I'm saying, these 10 aspirants, they are all qualified, they are all competent, and they are all any of them who emerges winner. 26th August is only for them to reduce the number to five. By November 4th, that's when we'll do the final election. Everyone has a preference. As I sit here, I have a preference, and that is obvious. But what I'm saying is that any of the 10 that may emerge as the winner or our flag bearer will beat uh, the NDC come 2024. December election because we have worked and the record is there to be shown. Everything that this government has done, we vote for parties to come and then work on their manifesto. The first term of our government, whatever we put there as our manifesto promises, we achieved them and even exceeded them. There are some achievements within this government who were not even captured in our manifesto and we have done them. Talk about other things like planting for food and jobs. It was never part of our manifesto. We have done them. When you come to the digitalization side, most of the things that we have done now, they were not things that were captured in our manifesto and we have done them. There is something that we have unveiled, over 100 achievements of this government. You, and all of those are positive. Yeah, yes. You, there's a book. Is yes. it blue? No, this one is not. White book. This is a book that is verifiable. The achievements in the books are verifiable. They are not those that were in the green book that okay. were not. So your verifiable. color is what? Our color is blue. The blue bu blue yes. book. And it is ver those so the MPP has a blue book. are verifiable. They yeah. are a verifiable facts that you can easily point to. Do you have a copy? I don't have a copy, copy as yeah. I sit right okay. now. But so why you send me a copy? Oh, I can do okay. that. Why Please not? Do. I can send you a soft copy. So that we and fast check. And this is something that has been verified. It's not like things that we cannot point to. So at the end of the day, I know there is delivery tracker that everybody can go and then check our achievements. So what I'm saying is that every Ghanaian is looking up to good governance mm. and then laying the foundation, right? Despite the current economic hardship, which is global, the MPP government in the first term did a lot and everybody knows. Even right now, as we sit right now, the uh, IMF had given us a target of 1.8 to achieve in terms of the growth. Right now, as we speak, we have exceeded. We have 
per, 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 per the current that, estimates that you have. Yes, per the records that we have right now. So the point I'm making is that we can have our internal mm. election. All those 10 people that have been ball who, who balloted yesterday, any of them can be because we are going to win based on our record, and we are not going to uh, uh, we are not going into this election just by mere noise making. Okay. But we have achievements to show for our okay. leadership and then stewardship. Okay. Yeah. Please, uh, Gabriela, she spent only four minutes. So you to spend only four minutes for me. <laughs> I'm timing you. The achievements that she's touting, I don't know if she considers. A depreciated currency that went from 3.9 cities to 12 cities as a 16 cities and back to 12 cities. From even from 3.9 to even 10, it's still it's still a large depreciation as an achievement. And I don't think I don't I don't see it, for me how you can think that inflation rate of 52 percent, the highest since the 1980s, even at a time we were going through a structural adjustment program and the economic recovery program regime, we did not see that kind of inflation levels. Is that an achievement? Then she says that they are going to beat the NDC, then John Mahama, with who? These, 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 these candidates. In fact, the one I like the most amongst those whole lot is Adani. We didn't mention his name. Very nice gentleman. Global Info Analytics did a survey, which, was, which came out early uh, July, on how the whole election outlook was looking. They pegged John Mahama against Baumia. They pegged John Mahama against uh, Alan Chairman Ting, who are both leading figures in this year's presidential race. And Roland, in all the scenarios, whether it was the unemployed and the employed who voted, whether it was Christians or Muslims or traditionalists who voted, in all scenarios, Mahama beat your Baromia, Mahama beat your Alan Chermanti, not less than 58%. In fact, Alan Chermanti in this polls, that's even better than uh, Baromia. Last week, I was watching, or earlier early this week, I was watching another report from the Global Info Analytics, and this is based on statistics, not my imagination. Another one that they did on the constituencies, and in each constituency, the electoral areas that they considered, they did another one on Baumia, Mahama, Baumia, Alan Chairman thing. And Baumia, in all those uh, polls, was trailing. So I don't know in, in which world you think that your Baumia and your Alan Chairman can be John Mahama. The NDC, we have chosen our presidential candidates for the 2024 polls. We understand governance and these people of Ghana. We also understand that the people of Ghana hold us to a higher standard. And we have learned our lessons from the past. And we are sure the people of Ghana that come 2024, when they give us the mandate, we are going to turn this country around. You will no longer see a government and a president who decides to push 800,000 people into poverty because they fail to address the depreciation of a currency and inflation. Why? Because they were busily hoarding their currencies in their bedrooms themselves. A government who claims that we're going to tout a so-called cashless economy, and we find out that the cashlessness is sitting in their houses, bedrooms, bulk, bulk loads of monies, monies people haven't even seen in their lifetime. It will take people 300 years to acquire that kind of money. Stop distracting me. People 300 years to acquire that, to acquire that kind of money. So Roland, there's no world where this NPP is going to beat the NDC December 2024. I promise Ghanaians that. Track record. All right. Yeah. You're, you're, Roland, <laughs> hold on. Give me one minute of your time. Oh, no. Please track record. Planting for food and jobs. No, at the no, time no, when you were talking about hold on. At the time when you were talking about it's 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 global effects, global effects, one village one down, forty percent. There is no hold on. The reports that came on the implementation of that police and forty percent of the what do you make of the country? You wasted people's money. You come and talk about records. You want to break the eight. Yes, please. Yes, on a solid record. With what? The, uh, yeah. You see, that, yes, the, 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 the achievements of the N NPP are always in books. They're always going around the town. Rather. Oh. Now, what did you say? The achievement, <laughs> they are in books. The NPP's achievements are in books. Mm. That's not true. It's either a book Rather, or some shit. It's, 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 it's a slogan. It's a stop It's a slogan. Because, like, they always have this shit. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. My sister. They have a blue book now. Yeah. Then they transfer the sheets into the book. So immediately you talk about it, they open and they, they, they talk about it. They won't tell you exactly where the project is. They are always uh, reading books. You see, your whatever you do, 
The situation in which we are will show. The standard of living has dropped so low, and the cost of living for Ghanaians are so high. And I am surprised that the MPP is only interested in breaking the eight, but not interested to make sure that Ghanaians do well, not interested to make sure that there is adequate infrastructure in the medical I mean, sector for Ghanaians to be okay, not, being a, not making sure that prices are okay. Because food inflation alone, in um, I think last month, was 54.7%. And food is what you eat to survive. There, there is no uh, accommodation, affordable housing for Ghanaians. This government has not even built one block of flats of uh, affordable housing. Meanwhile, they, they made Saglemi rot. Just, it was just there rot, rotten. They could have even given it to the police or to the military to live there. So what are they talking? What achievements? Today, the chairman of the economic management team, instead of being serious with making sure that our economy is okay, is rather campaigning to be a president. What is there that they should break the aid? What have they done that they should break the aid? Now, he's talking about giving Ghana cards to babies. Yes, it is good, but what about the adults who need it for transactions and we are not even getting? People are holding money to get Ghana cards. They are not getting and you are talking about Ghana card for ba the babies. Their mothers don't have adequate food to eat to get the right nutrients to breastfeed them because times are hard. Those who need to be on um, um, supplements, the milk, is so expensive. Even lactogen, SME, it's so expensive that people cannot even buy it for their babies. And you are thinking about baby Ghana card. Roland, which way are we going? They have lined up 10 people. Why? 10 people. Who wants to come and rule this country and break the eight? For what reason? What is the track record? Where, where, where we are today, everything is expensive. Everything, my dear, everything is expensive. Go to the market right now. You cannot buy tomatoes. Even the tomatoes that is grown in Ghana, we cannot buy. We are unable to feed ourselves. Families are unable to feed themselves with three square meals. Now, it is a luxury to even have two square meals. And you are thinking of breaking the breaking the aid to come and do what? To come and, uh, 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 and destroy the country feather? To come and depreciate the CD feather? How, how, what was the breaking the aid? All right. Thank you very much for this. And uh, I have this from Mr. Mike Aflu. And... Um, Uncle Kofi, good morning to you. And he says that we have a country where prices are quoted in dollars. Even though the politicians on one hand say that no transaction should be undertaken in dollars. The budget is prepared in dollars and presented in dollars alongside the Ghana city. Landlords collect rent in U.S. dollars. I went to the CFAO and Japan Motors, and the asking prices for cars were in U.S. dollars. We should think about it. Now, I have this from Mystic Wonder in Sawama Dreidri. Despondency is written on the faces of Ghanaians because of the unprecedented economic hardships imposed by the Nanado government. Okay, and then this one is from Fosina Emisa. How can a presidential staffer have this amount of money in the house? And we think it is normal. And this one, Nana Nyimedu, Flagstaff House Communication or Jubilee House Communications. Actually, as a former minister, Madame Dapa will remain a politically exposed person for a very long time. And that means the OSP can investigate her income anytime he deems fit. Also, Nanaya gets it wrong when she says the court would have asked her how she made the money. She's not an accused in the criminal case. She's the complainant. It is the accused persons who will be on trial and not her. Okay, so... Um, 
Karim Bukhari, Forestry Commission, says good morning to you. Says she, you are their sister. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Mr. Mante says, I want you to find out why Ms. Dapa herself has not been able to explain how she got the money up to today publicly because she should have known that this would have become a public matter. Mm. Chris Ashalibuchi says, It has taken the OSP office almost five hours to count the money, according to reports. Is that true? Is that true? Was Cecilia Dapa running a mini bank at home? Chris Ashalibuchi. Now, Tio Adai says, Roland, I can bet you that NDC and MPP are not the same. JM and NDC have learned their lessons, especially he as a presidential candidate. Let me read uh, a couple more just before from the stream, please. So I have a couple more from the stream. Let me just acknowledge them. Nana Amwati, Iman Nana Amwati says, I urge Yoko and CID to conduct a search in the house of every single politician in this country, current and past. My friend who was helping his uncle in the construction firm confirmed that almost every house they have built for a politician in this country comes with a safe. Now, Francis Moore says, how can one fight himself of a cherished character or habits of which they are not ready to depart from. The slogans of this government have always proved them wrong in regarding what they preach. Money need money. When it was NDC dear, anyone got caught. In, uh, uh, when it was the time of NDC and anyone got caught, they were prosecuted. Even those who were suspected were dismissed from their positions. Nana Kwesi Brimpon says, there are places still charging dollars in pricing in Ghana, and this should stop. Well, thank you for your messages as well. Chairman KD, good morning to you. Uh, Godwin Tamaklo, uh, the Chief Executive for Rates Group. Uh, good morning to you. So we're taking a break. Thank you all for coming. I'm grateful. We're taking a break. That's an abrupt, abrupt end. No, no, that's not, that's not final word. Those were your last words. We're taking a break.